have ceviche, we have uh, fish tacos, we have burritos, we have uh, Alba store. What is something that you, how would you invite people to come and see you guys, come to come visit? I think it would be like a nice experience. Um, we, you know, we have a lot of different menu choices um, than other restaurants do and the food's super good. So it would be nice for them to come and try something new. <laughs> we are the new kings winning this fight tonight with our name lit up. Hello guys, welcome back to LA TV Fine Nation. I'm your host, Jeanette. Yes, you're not crazy. We did have Noor just a second ago, but there is so much to do here at Conejo Valley that honestly, we couldn't keep up and we had to split up. We are here at Badass Street Tacos and I'm in for some great lunch. I'm pretty hungry, so let's see what they got. So guys, actually, I got recommended this place very much. This is why we're gonna check it out. Bada Street Tacos actually started about four years ago by the founders, Julissa and Manuel Lopez. The Lopez's actually started with this business basically out of nothing. They've built their way up and they've created this wonderful establishment with delicious food, which is packed. We actually had to wait in line so we could order because there was a big rush for lunch hour. So I'm ready to order. Hi. Uh, can I please have a ceviche and an horchata as well? Thank you. All right, I'm excited for this food. Let's go. So here we are at Bada Street Tacos with Amy. She is the manager for Bada Street Tacos and also she's the daughter of the owner's owner. So thank you so much for joining us today, Amy. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Glad to see my parents coming on TV. <laughs> excited for them. Exciting. Yes. <laughs> no, thank you so much for having us. We're really excited about this food. So um, tell us a little bit about the story of how Bada Street Tacos started. Because I know that you guys started about four years ago and it basically you guys have built this empire from the ground up yeah so um actually it started kind of as a hobby for my dad he just uh, kind of started doing it on the weekends thursday through sundays um and eventually um my mom she left her job and came to help because we would just get so busy um and then we did that for about like four or five years and then we opened this restaurant here four years ago and now um, we're actually expanding and opening a second location so I think around October November um, that should be open as well so it's been a journey it's been really good um, thankfully even with the pandemic it's um it's still been really busy the uh, the business has been like really consistent that's very important yeah <laughs> so what do you think that makes Baras at tacos difference from everybody else um, I think the, the environment, it's more like family oriented. Um, you know, all the recipes, they're recipes from my dad. Um, he's from Yucatan. So we have a couple different uh, different meat options that are from there and they're cooked the, um, from their style. What are some of your most popular dishes? Um, a lot of people uh, for the meat choices, they like the short rib. It's like a shredded and it's marinated with red wine and um, dry chilies. Um, the lechon, it's a Yucatan style dish. That one's really popular as well. It's a, it's a shredded pork. It has a cabbage mix and it's uh, marinated with like lime juice and spices. The cochinita is really good too. It's, um, it's cooked in a banana leaf and then it's cooked with orange juice and spices as well. That one's pretty popular. That sounds delicious. Which one is your personal favorite? Um, I like the al pastor. It's just like a char, uh, like a char grilled pork, and it has pineapple. Sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, we have ceviche, we have uh, fish tacos, we have burritos, we have uh, alba store. What is something that you? How would you invite people to come and see you guys? Come to come visit. I think it would be like a nice experience. Um, we, you know, we have a lot of different menu choices um, than other restaurants do and the food's super good. So it would be nice for them to come and try something new <laughs> and support a family business. So I'm really, really, really interested in uh, the logo because it's just so different. And all the whole visuals, guys, you'll be able to see the walls, the art on the walls. It's just so different. What inspired this little burrito right over here? Well, you know, in that, uh, the, like the name Badass Street Tacos. So um, my dad picked it out because, you know, technically ass, it means donkey. So that's why we have um, the donkey as our logo. And um, yeah, we have like a couple like wrestlers on the cover. It's just, um, he wants it to be like very, um, like authentic, very like Mexican style. So we do have like our, um, the walls painted inside with uh, different, just different things from Mexico. 
That's awesome. So it's it's a very Mexico, uh, the feel, the vibe. It's, the food is very authentic. The food is fresh. It's family recipes. <laughs> it's uh, fresh food. It's culture. So are you guys on social media? Um, we do. We have um, a Facebook. We do have a website as well. Um, you can do like online ordering through there and take a look at our menu. Um, and then I believe we do have Instagram as well. Okay, so yeah. uh, where can we find you on social media and on your website? What's your social media um, website? So the website, it's uh, badassstreettacos.com and um, for like Facebook and stuff, you just type in Badass Street Tacos and uh, we'll pop up on there. Amazing. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Amy, for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. I'm really, really excited to dig into this food. So, yeah. thank you very much. Guys, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you for hey coming guys, to see us. Stay tuned because we have more coming up right over here in the Late TV Fan Nation.